Hello everyone and welcome back. What you're seeing is a Facebook Marketplace listing that our good friend, we'll just call him John, John let me know about this. And this kind of piqued my interest. Not because of what you're seeing in these pictures, but what you'll see in the description of this listing. So the stuff you're seeing in the pictures, nothing uncommon, no, no crazy keys, but apparently there was more of this stuff. And in this description, it says huge totes full of books. So many books, they can't show them all. So I get on the road and I'm driving to beautiful Lewisburg, West Virginia, home of the Greenbrier, home of the rich, the affluent, home of the you know, just, just the beautiful people where, you know, they, they stay at the ritzy hotels, they play on the most incredible golf courses, but that's not where I went. I went to the Walmart parking lot in Lewisburg, and I'm looking at funny books in the back of this old truck. When I first got there, we made it very clear they did not want to be on film, and I completely understood that, and, um, they were extremely patient with me. I went through every single one of these totes. So the first thing I'm seeing is I'm seeing alias and there were single digit issues. I'm like, okay, there, there may be an alias number one in here. So my expectations go into this thing, not high, not, not high at all because of the photos, but I saw more books inside and I'm, I'm finding some, some older Hulk issues, you know, some 80s, late 70s Hulk. I'm finding some Va Vampirella magazines. I'm like, okay, there's there's more to this than I saw on the pictures. Then I saw that and I was like, oh God, is that the real thing? And it wasn't. It was just a reprint. But that would have been crazy to find a first appearance of Vampirella in this. So, um, you know, I I've still got my juices flowing. I'm, I'm digging. I'm hunting. It's cold. I mean, I'm shivering out there. They kind of just let me do my thing as I'm like digging in the back of this truck. But it was really weird. Like they were separated by title sometimes, but then there was just no rhyme or reason why anything was separated. But another reason why I was super interested in this listing was look at look at how many things are in bags and boards. And these are not like old bags and boards like these are um the brand new bags and boards and now i'm just seeing that electra book i think that might have been the recalled electra book that um, i missed out on so i am probably going to be contacting them after i watch this um so there was a lot of lady death stuff and then we found this box and this box changed uh everything so um I'm seeing that there's some older Avengers, some Amazing Spider-Man, and it's Amazing Spider-Man's second appearance of the Punisher. Technically, third appearance, but second appearance. And first, Taskmaster. I'm like, you can already see, like, books are starting to fall over. I'm getting, like, like nervous. I'm like, this, this, is, this, this is good. This, this could be really good. Um, I'm finding more Thor stuff. I'm finding Eternals. I think that's the first appearance of Sprite, Eternals 9. I'm finding a Teen Titans number 1. I'm finding First Rogue and Madeline Pryor, another ASM book. I'm like, oh, doctor. Now, I'm not looking at condition on any of these things. I was taking a peek at a couple of those, and the First Rogue book comes to mind that it, it had some issues it was in a brand new bag and board, as you can see. Now, these were all not taped down. There was no tape. These were not resealable bags. Young Avengers number one, first Kate Bishop, the Young Avengers Kang uh, cover. A lot of Jonah Hex stuff in here, um, but not of that original run. That Avengers was a reprint. More early Young Avengers run. Uh, other Avengers... Uh, books that I'm not super familiar with from that time period. There may have been some decent stuff there. Some Namor. A lot of this stuff was like um, in the 2000s, which I, this is something that people need to be aware of. There is a lot of books in there that are valuable and kind of rare because a lot of people, I think comic book collecting was just like crashing. People were not buying books. Um, 
a lot of low print run stuff. Stuff was just not getting printed out the butt like it was back in the day or it is now. And then you find, you know, this kind of stuff where it's just dime a dozen. And then there were some X-Men reprints. And then there was quite a bit of uh, good girl art and some Lady Death stuff, some booby cover books that we'll see here in a bit. But then there would just be like this, like that second appearance of Killmonger. I'm like, yeah, we're putting that in a good pile. That's a jungle action eight or some, seven or something. Um, and there's, you know, the DC books, the Superman books that are in every, every box. That, again, there was no rhyme or reason. So that was really like galvanizing me, like going through this because one, it had not been picked through. At least I didn't think so at this point. And I still don't really think so, but there were certain books in here that were, and I was like, oh God, there's first, there's first hood. It was just in the middle of, of this. I'm like, I'm like freaking out this when I knew, I knew this was like, probably this is one of the best, um, finds I I've ever had. Uh, so it was, it was pretty awesome. For some reason I'm angling, angling the, the camera, the strap on like downwards. So you can't really see those books. Sorry about that. And then I found like this box and they'll see, you'll see other bags and bags that are numbered like this. And I asked them, I said, is this, did, did you guys do this or you know, it, it didn't seem like they had bagged and boarded anything. So that leads me into my next thing is where did these come from? So I was, when I was talking to the person, she said that, uh, something about her dad and I was like, okay, maybe these are her dad's books. He's just trying to, to get rid of them. But that is not what was happening. Her dad was not a collector. Her dad apparently bought like a house or a trailer or something and this was like in there and it just came with the trailer. Like that was, that was like part of the deal. Everything that was in there was, uh, was his now. So not only did the guy get the, the trailer, but he got all this stuff that was in it, which man, maybe one of these days I'm just gonna, just gonna buy something and there's just gonna be comic books in there and it's gonna be awesome. But for now, this is pretty daggone good. Um, when I'm talking to these people, they obviously do not care about comic books at all. They, they might like nerd stuff. I, I don't know, but just talking to them, they did not know about this stuff. They didn't care. They had tried to go through some things, but as any of you all know, you know, if you're going through stuff and you don't have a lot of comic book knowledge, it's impossible to figure out what's what, you know, what year, what volume, um, you know, what's valuable, what's not it, comic book collecting and doing what I'm doing here. This takes years. It takes looking at comics. It takes looking at key issues, looking at runs, memorizing things. It's just like studying for a test because this is, this is like test day. Like when you, when you go to something like this, you put your money where your mouth is and you're either buying the entire collection or you're, and, and taking it home and, and doing homework or you're, you better have your homework already prepared and your knowledge. And for guys that have been doing this a whole lot longer than me, their knowledge is far more vast, but I know enough to get myself in trouble. One and two, I know enough to find the big books. Uh, this box was predominantly DC stuff. Uh, and then there was that. Bloodstone number one, first appearance of Elsa Bloodstone, no big deal, just tucked in the DC box. Um, so th at this, I mean, when I'm when I was going through these stacks and I was finding stuff like that, I was like, I, I'm 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 trying to see every single book. Now let me be clear, there is no there is I missed something. Obviously, like I missed that Electra book as I'm rewatching this, narrating this. Um, I've missed things, guaranteed. And so many of these books are not bagged and boarded. And a lot of you guys, and, and me included, I know you guys love smelling comic books. Well, these bad boys got a smell. So um, I think there's some mold on the, there, uh, there's a bug chew. You can see it right there. Um, I don't know if the rats got a hold of some of the spines, but there is definitely some 
damage, some significant damage to a lot of these books, and they were some of these were not stored in a dry environment. So to say that there are 9.8s in here is uh, not going to happen. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, a lot of you guys probably think like I'm looking at a stack of books like this and I'm like, oh man, that just makes me want to cry because I'm like, oh God, I just want to slab every single one of them. That's actually not the case, but I am trying to find uh, high grade, nice, clean issues for my collection. And uh, unfortunately, there were not a lot of high grade books here. That was a decent book there, that Legion of Superheroes, and I cannot remember what first appearance or something that was, but that was a pretty good book too. But uh, man, I'm still thinking about that uh, Electra book. I'm going to actually probably message her uh, when I get done narrating this video. And then there were like there was like a box of Captain America stuff. And this, this right here was kind of that bronze slash copper Marvel box, you know, they're... There'd be Conan, there'd be Captain America, there'd be Amazing Spider-Man, there'd be Avengers, and again, I mean, I, it, there were no duplicates. This was like a this was a collector's collection. Like this was not a store. This was not any. But and then there would be just that, like First Tarantula. Now it's got major issues, which you'll see here in a bit. But that's technically Second Punisher. But it would just that would just be in here. So that made me think this had not been picked through crazy because there were still key issues in here. And there were some uh, Marvel cards. I'm not really into that. Somebody in the comments let me know if I just passed over a gold mine there. Uh, there was ti just titles of everything, like All-Star Squadron. Oh, I was thinking first Power Girl might be in here. Uh, New Teen Titan stuff. I was thinking uh, first Nightwing, um, and I was even considering there be first appearance of the New Teen Titans in here. And then there was a lot of Punisher Max. I was also looking for like Punisher War Journal number one, and then the Punisher Max stuff. I was looking for uh, first Barracuda. I was wanting to talk to them. I was well. I was kind of talking to them while I was doing this, but. Um, I was kind of wanting to tell them like, hey man, this Punisher is kind of like a good read, but I think it would have just fallen on deaf ears because I, I just don't think they were really looking to uh, read some of this. So, spoilers, I don't buy this whole collection. So, I've got a stack over to my left already, and if you guys are keeping tabs, you know, be kind of thinking about what you would offer. That's that's kind of what I'm going through right here. I don't know condition of those books really. I haven't taken them out of the bag, but I'm just trying to get a ballpark of what what am I going to offer these people? Have they got them priced? Obviously they haven't. Um, but I'm just thinking, okay, what am I what am I going to offer them? Now, what do you guys think they wanted for this whole lot? On the Facebook listing, they had a number, so I'll give you a couple seconds. They wanted six hundred dollars for everything, so that's that's ballpark of what they were thinking for everything. And there was there was a good century book there, and and then that blade, uh, those blade Max books, those looked cool. I didn't know I didn't know if that was actually something or not, but and then there was like a lot of She Hulk too. A lot of those awesome uh, uh, She-Hulk She -Hulk books, that Dan Slot run, and then there's She-Hulk number one. I love those covers. This this box or this like this was not in a box. This one was like in a laundry basket. Like that's and there was another group of books in there that like was in a garbage bag. So I mean, they were not. They they didn't care about these books. They were trying to move these books. Let's let's make that very clear. Um, so I paid these folks um, fifty dollars cash for the stack of books that uh, you're about to see, and uh, you guys can make the determination of uh, whether I got ripped off or I uh, got a good deal or that was about fair. Um, when you see the condition of these books, um, you'll you'll understand my offer. But there were some 
there were some pretty big boy big boy books in here and uh, I guarantee you I definitely missed some things as well so with that all the way let's get back to the house and let's take a look at what we pulled all right everybody so we are back at the sticky goose man cave and uh, we got some big books here First one up, The Avengers, annual number 10. First appearance of Rogue and Madeline Pryor, newsstand. Hold your horses. What is going on in the back of this book? So this book has obviously had water damage. Um, is that paint? Not sure. Um, the, the front of this book actually presented decent. Like, I mean, it was, it was fine. But I mean, the, the water damage on this is crazy. And then you can kind of see how some of the colors rubbed off there at the top left. Not good. Now, this one's good. Young Avengers number one, first appearance of Hulkling, Asgardian, um, Kate Bishop, um, Iron Lad, Patriot. This book looks great. Uh, it's got a bit of a crunch on the back uh, cover on the spine side. I mean, that's a nice book. I'd say maybe with a press, that's a near mint minus copy. That's that's probably one of my best hits here. Young Avengers number four. This is that awesome Kang cover. This this run in the very beginning, this run gets a lot of hate. Um, I would recommend anybody read this run, uh, especially the beginning um, part of it. It's It's very good. Now this... This took a hit, and then it's got color rub all the way up the spine on the back. So this is a nice one, too. This is Jungle Action number seven. So Jungle Action five is when Black Panther comes in. Jungle Action six is first Killmonger. This is second appearance of Killmonger, and it's the first appearance of Venom uh, with two M's. Back of this book is very, very dirty. That could all be cleaned off. Um does have some rusted staples, specifically that top one and the bottom one. Uh, the colors are kind of faded on this book. Low grade book, decent book. And that's your big boy, ASM 135. Man, uh, Punisher on the cover. They say third Punisher, second Tarantula. CGC says it's a second Punisher. I don't know. Um, this is a pretty nice book. Hold your horses. You always want to be checking this book and books around that time period. You already know if you know. No Marvel value stamp. Gone. I mean, that crushed me looking through this. I mean, that's a book. It's like, are you not going to buy that regardless of whether it has a stamp or not? I mean, you're going to buy it. Spawn 52. I don't know why I got this. I thought this might have been something, those later Spawn issues. I always get confused. Like, I know Spawn 77 is valuable. I'm not a Spawn guy. Max, The Hood, uh, Brian K. Vaughn. Man, this is, I was not expecting this book to be in there. Um, a lot of Max series. So it doesn't surprise me that this one was there as well. This book has got a huge crunch on the top, spine ticks all the way down. You know, this is a fine minus. I don't know. That may be uh, being a little bit uh, too positive thinking. Um, yeah, I need to read that run. Glad to have that in the collection now. Avengers number 219. Uh, this is the first appearance of the Babani. I thought this was something else. Uh, I got confused. Um, this is like a $3 book. Even, and I don't even know if in this condition. It's probably a dollar book. Um, She-Hulk number one. Uh, this is the first appearance of Mallory Brooks. It is a first appearance, but that cover, though. I mean, that is insane how they make her skin like shine like that and the, su and the suit shine. It's in a very... Very good condition, I'd say. Near mint minus, very fine plus. It's a it's a nice book. Um, yeah, I was I was really happy to get that one as well. Supreme Power number one, another Max series. 
Uh, this is like a different universe squadron supreme. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a book that kind of registers when I see it as a minor, minor key. And it's got a great cover, too. Uh, Black Panther number one. Uh, of course, number two of this series is the first appearance of Shuri. Um, this is a minor, minor key as well. And it is one of the cleaner, if not the cleanest book of all the books that I got. So I got that one. Uh, this is Captain Marvel number 17. This is from the early 2000s. This is the first appearance of Phyla Vell. It's got this kind of scuff there at the bottom. Other than that, this book would have been very, very nice. This was a hot MCU spec book for a while. I, I'm sure it has cooled off significantly. This is New Teen Titans number one, and it has devastating uh, water damage. And uh, yeah, it's a major first collector issue it even says so on the cover cool date stamp up there but looks like the bugs have gotten a hold of it and we've also got some water some mold in there got a little bit of everything pretty rough but new teen titans number one you know what i mean the eternals number nine this was the only eternals book i saw i was not going to be surprised if i found an eternals number one in there it was not there. This book looks decent, except for the daggone bug chew. Again, in the bottom left-hand corner, um, the back of that book could have been cleaned. That's the first appearance of Sprite. And there's like a bunch of other first appearances, just like those, all these Eternals books. Remember when the Eternals got hot? Yeah, I remember too. And now nobody cares. This is a good one. Uh, Avengers 196, First Taskmaster, an incredible cover and an awesome first appearance. And the daggone, the bugs got a hold of this one too. Bottom left hand corner, all chewed up. Um, this book is complete, uh, except for not completed completely uh, a back whole back cover. Unfortunately, it is a newsstand as well for what that's worth. But uh, the colors still kind of pop on this book. Still presents nice. Amazing Spider-Man 147. First Tarantula, technically second Punisher, they say. Yeah, this 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 cover is being held together by tape. Um, I mean, it's a copy. It's a copy of this book. I do not own a copy of this book, so this is a starter copy for sure. I mean, I would consider this book a rag. I mean, if it's not, it's as close as you can get to a rag. I mean, that that page, it, it's complete, though. And then finally, we have Bloodstone number one, first appearance of Elsa Bloodstone. And then going back and re-watching this video, issue number two and three were in there as well as four, so I'm going to be contacting her to try to get those because I want all four of those. This book looks great, too. Um, I think the back of that book could be cleaned. Very fine plus, maybe near mint minus. That's pushing it. It's got a spine roll. Try to press that. Um, and then it's got scuffing on the edges there. Yeah, I don't think it's near mint minus. That's probably a very fine. Guys, what do you guys think? 50 bucks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Hope you enjoyed it and take care.